Really? Yep. All right. Well, praise God. Thank you. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Amen. And we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia Nuevo Comienzo. Amen. You come yourself prepared to receive from God what God has for you. Our message today is going to be Victory is Mine. Amen. Yeah. We got to take that. That should be our victory song every day. Uh -huh. Victory yeah. is mine before you walk out into the world. Yeah. Is know when to ask you spend time with Him. When I want to, before I step out, I know I have victory. Amen. Amen. I have victory. That's what David did before he stepped out into the world or went out to face his uh, his giant. He says, "Victory is mine. I have yeah. victory in Him." Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So we need to do the same thing, you know, because the world is waiting for you, yes. and if you ain't prepared, they'll take you. Oh, yeah. Amen. So welcome all those of you that are joining us by audio and video. Prepare yourselves to receive. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchen por audio o video. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. And you know, I just say one thing, and that is, God is something for you. Yeah. Amen. God is something for you. He's not finished with you. He has great plans for you. Amen. Remember yeah. that. Remember that you can do all things through Him. Greater is He that's in you than He that's in the world. Amen. Hallelujah. So remember, he's not finished with you. We're still, he's still working with us. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So prepare yourselves to receive. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct us. Amen. Nos quiere bendecir, nos quiere animar, nos quiere cambiar y nos quiere corregir. Amen. So prepare yourselves, grab your swords, soldiers of God, and say it like a man at church. Amen. Here's mine. Where is yours? It says like this. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. And you know what? Not only do you need to remind yourself, but you need to remind the enemy. Yes. You know how he knows to attack? Because of the words you confess. Because of the words you say. He's following. <laughs> He's got the world. He's following us. Yeah. Christians. And see what's coming out of you. Mm. Uh, if you're confessing negative things, give up. We open the door and just invite him to come on in. So you got to be careful. Yeah. So you say, hey, victory is mine. Yeah. And you know what? <laughs> if he's bugging, you just say, hey, get thee behind me. Yeah. Get behind me. Yeah. Amen. Or get under my feet. Yeah. Because that's where you belong. Those of you that follow Facebook, I'm going to read you uh, a scripture break that I uh, that I wrote on there. It says this: Look to Him. Your victory is in Him. Yeah. Answer to your problems is in Him. Yeah. The provision for your needs is in Him. The wisdom that you are uh, after is in Him. Everything your heart's desire, hopes, and dreams are in Him. Seek, chase, pursue Him at a new level. Yeah. Draw close to Him, and He will draw close to you. Talk, look, talk, and walk with him. Delight yourself in him, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Yes. Amen. We must do this, always looking up to him. Amen. And victory is in him. We need to remind ourselves and start walking and speaking faith-filled yeah. words. Because the enemy is busy, and he's following, he's pursuing the see. He says uh, that he's always there. He says, your enemy, the devil, is there, uh -huh. and he's following to see he wants to steal, kill, and destroy. Wow. Amen. Yes, he but he's listening to what you have to say. Mm. And if you're not saying the right things, we're inviting him to come in. Mm. Amen. I love the song you sang. It says, Victory is mine, victory is mine, victory today is mine. That's why this is our daily song. Yes, amen. I told Satan, get thee behind. Mm. Victory today is mine. Amen. Yes. I got a message for him. Get thee behind me. We must do that on a daily basis. Yeah. Just let them know victory yeah. is mine yeah. and get behind me. Yeah. Victory is mine. Victory is yours. And you have the victory in Jesus on a daily basis. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. There you go. Victory is mine in Jesus' name. Amen. That settles it. Yeah. A word of God. A word. The word of God is all yours. Uh -huh. You will ever need to be victorious. It doesn't matter what the circumstances are like. It doesn't matter what the odds are look like God's ability is not affected by our circumstances. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Everything was settled at the cross. Yeah. Amen. Everything was settled at the cross. We're not fighting for victory. We're fighting from victory. 
Amen. Amen. We're the victorious ones. Amen. Amen. Remember that. He says you're a winner. You're a champion. I mean, you can do all things through Christ. So we're not fighting for victory. We're fighting from victory. Amen. Amen. Because of what Jesus has already done. He's already paid the price in full. It's complete. Completo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right? We yeah. just got to remember that. Victory is mine. Victory in Jesus. Victory. Yes, victory. Continue to speak faith-filled words. Look, keep going. Got a few of these for you. There you go. Victory is mine. I got some nice ones for you. Keep going. Uh -huh. The victory is mine. Keep going. Victory in Jesus. Battle already won at the yes. cross. Amen. Keep going. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Here we go. I yes. want. I put that good one for you there. <laughs> <laughs> victory in Jesus. If he knows it, we must know it. Amen. Praise God. He is yes. Victory in Jesus. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let the enemy know. Go ahead. Here we go. Here's our here's our uh, our text right here. It says 1 Corinthians 15, 57, and 15, 57 through 58. It says, But thanks, but thank God He has given us victory over sin and death through our Lord Jesus Christ. And 58 says, So my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable, always working enthusiastically. For the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> for you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. Right. Let me read it to you from this one. It says, But we thank God who has given us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. 58. So, my dear brothers and sisters, stand strong. Yes. Don't let anything change you. That's right. Always giving yourself fully to the, Lord, the work of the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know that your work is in the Lord is never wasted time. That's Amen. Right. Whatever you do for him, he knows. He tells us yeah. in Hebrews also. He never forgets the work we do for him. That's right. Amen. We, we don't have to worry about that. But it tells us he never forgets. That's right. So whatever you do, it says do it as unto the Lord, like he right. tells us in Colossians yeah. 3.23. If you're going to do it, do it as unto him. Amen. Because if you're going to do it unto people, you know, you'll never say thank you. They'll never uh, thank you for it or never appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be lost and you're going to be feel like that, you know, down. And you feel unappreciated. Yeah. But you know when you've done it under him, yes. it's already paid in full. Amen. Amen. So he's happy and you're happy. Praise God. So this, this is our text. First John 5, 4 and 5 says this. For everyone born of God overcomes the world. Uh -huh. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only the ones who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Yes. You have victory through him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Deuteronomy 20 and 4 in the NIV says this. For the Lord your God is the one who goes without, goes with you to fight against your enemies to give you the victory. So the New Testament says he goes with you. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. So wherever you go, you're not by yourself. That's right. He is with you. He comes with you. To fight and give you victory. Amen. So we already have victory. We shouldn't be afraid. He's not giving us a spirit of fear. But we're going to get that in a few minutes. By, uh, John 8, 20, 32 says, And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. The truth is going to give you the victory. Because every time you confess his word, you have victory. And give no place to the enemy. Amen. So praise God. If you think you're losing it, uh, fighting a losing battle, fear not, for you have victory in him. Amen. Learn to stand in victory, amen? Put on the whole armor of God. Amen. Ephesians 6, 13 through 14 says this. Of course, it talks about the whole armor of God. Therefore, it says, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day in church. We're in an evil day. Yes. Amen? All you have to do is listen to, 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 to the news Pick up the newspaper. You know, hear people talk. Evil days. And heaven done all the stand. It says stand. If you're going to stand, why not stand in him? Yes. Amen. When you stand in him, you have victory. Yes. Amen. When you hear people talking about how bad things are, oh, <laughs> you let them know, I have victory. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You don't have to share the same bad report. You say, you know what? <laughs> you guys need Jesus. Right. Amen. Because you can stand and withstand all this. He says, if you're going to stand, stand. Do not, church, if you feel the cares and worries of the world, if you feel defeated, hopeless, 
falsely accused, feel like the world is at the end, remember, 2 uh, Timothy 1 through 7, or 1 7, says, For God has not given me a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Amen. Amen. We have, He's given us His word. We'll know the truth and it's going to set us free yeah. from whatever the enemy is going to bring on you. Yeah. He's going to bring storms. He's going to bring yeah. uh, all kinds of things against you. Mm -hmm. But know that you're going to stand. I'm going to stand in the word. You're going to study the word and get those uh, word roots deep in you. Yes. So when the storms come, you're not shaking. I'm standing on the word. Yeah. Amen. Nothing's going to move me. Nothing's going to shake me. Know that Jesus paid the price in full. And he is your victory. Amen. When the enemy reminds you of your past, remind him of his future. <laughs> remind him that you have victory yes. in him. Yes. Say, remember what Jesus did to you. Yes. Amen. And we have victory in him. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Victory is mine. Love is mine. Joy is mine. Peace is mine. Happiness, yes. prosperity is mine. Every promise in the Bible can be yours yes. and are yours today and on a daily basis. Amen. Not just once in a while. Amen. He never changed his mind. So we shouldn't either. And we should steadily, faithfully serve him on a daily basis. God cannot lie. So every time he says, this is yours, this promise is yours, it's yours. Amen. Yes. There's no doubt about that. Remind yourself, daily, victory is yours. Say this, yes. victory is mine. Victory is mine. Yes. Life. On a daily basis, remind yourself. Since we're not fighting for victory, we're fighting from victory because of what Jesus has already done. Yes. We have yes. victory in him on a daily basis. Yes. Uh, the Bible says in Psalms uh, 118, 24, uh -huh. that this is the day the Lord has made. Yes. We will rejoice and be glad in him. Yes. You know, yes. victorious people praise him, rejoice, and are glad. Yes. When you know you have the victory, Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Yes. I'm rejoicing and I'm glad for this new day you have given me to yes. serve you. Amen. Yes. To reach people you want me to reach. Amen. So when you leave these four walls all encouraged and full of the Lord and full of word, yes. and when you leave your house on a oh, daily yes. basis full of him, mm -hmm. you know, you're going somewhere to happen for somebody. Yes. Because there's somebody out there that needs a touch of you. Right. Needs a touch of God through you. Yes. Amen. You're his... Uh, uh, Minister of Reconciliation, you're his ambassador, his mouthpiece on earth, going somewhere to happen for somebody. Yes. Isn't that amazing? Yes. We're full of the good with good news. <laughs> Therefore, the world is full of the bad news. You're full of the good news. Yes. Going somewhere to happen for him. Amen. Amen. So see yourself. That's how important you are. And that's how the enemy sees you, but he wants to make you feel like a worm. Uh -huh. He wants to make you feel down. Yeah. He wants to put you down. Amen. Bring your past. Bring all these things against you. Mm -hmm. Use people to distract you. Yes. And try to pull you away. So remember that. That's what the enemy does. Yeah. Amen. So Psalm 118, 24. This is the day yeah. the Lord has made. It says we. You can scratch the we off of there and just put I or put yes. your name to it. Yeah. Hosea will rejoice and be glad in you. He didn't say anything about if it's nice and sunny. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if the weather's bad, the storms are like storming outside, whatever happens to me, he says, thank you, Lord, for a new day to serve you. Right. Excited, enthusiastically, amen? <laughs> Praise God. We have the victory, and we are rejoicing and glad in him, amen? amen. We all have a choice on a daily basis to trust in him yes. and have victory or to trust the flesh and be defeated, mm. you know? He's not called us to be Christians and live a defeated life. He's called us to be his children, to be Christians and live a winning life. Mm -hmm. Amen. You do all things through him. You know, winners <laughs> can do all things through him. Amen. Yes. So see yourself that way. Jesus paid the price, uh, paid the price and wants to bless you and show you favor. Mm -hmm. The devil is working hard and trying to stop everything oh, yeah. and anything. Yeah. He can happen to good, good things happening to you or in your life. And of course, John 10, 10, we all know, says the thief, the devil, yeah. the enemy comes, does not come except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Yeah. He says, I have come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Yes, amen. Amen. So, you know, when people tell you uh, uh, God's putting this 
And God's taking you through a, a test. You know, he's putting the, the sickness on you to teach you something. Uh, he wants you to live. It, tell, it tells me right now in John 10, 10, he wants you to live more abundantly. So yeah. why is he going to put sickness on you? Right. Why would he put sickness on you when he put it on Jesus? Yeah. And if Jesus had it at the cross, <laughs> there's no sickness for him, for you, for him to give you in, from heaven. Right. There's no sickness in heaven. So you got to know the truth. When you know the truth, it's going to set you free from all these other false things, you know. He can't give you anything that he put already on Jesus. If Jesus carried all those things at the cross and paid in full, he can't put you through all those things, amen. He can't put all those things on you that he put on Jesus because otherwise it will be false. Right. Be void. Jesus came so we might have his best, yes. his abundance, for this abundance to be raining down on us. Or our lives, amen. amen. People are going to see when things are happening to you when you have an abundance and they see the Christ like in you, and they're going to come to you and say, What is it about you? Amen. Mm -hmm. Don't be ashamed yeah. to say, You know, hey, first of all, I have a savior, yeah. his name is Jesus. I serve him. Number one, Bible says, Seek first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, yeah. and all these other things shall be added unto you. Amen. Can you imagine an abundance of Jesus? And favor, Jesus' yeah. favor raining down on you on a daily basis. Praise God. He wants us to have abundantly. Yeah. Have abundance. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. <clears throat> Luke 4 and 3, the devil said to, uh, to him, to Jesus, he says, If you be the Son of God, command these stones to be made bread. <laughs> it's just like the enemy. Amen. Just like the enemy. If you be the Son of God, then yeah. show me. Show me, you know the people, he uses people. People yeah. come up, if, if you really uh, know this Jesus, you know, oh, what about this, what about that? And they'll bring it up against you. Yeah. Luke 4 and 4 says this, and Jesus answered him, right the next verse says, said unto him, it is written, mm -hmm. the man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word yes. of God, amen? amen? Jesus didn't have to prove anything to That's him. Right. Amen. Praise God. And you know, sometimes you don't have to say anything. As a child of God, just the life you, you live, yeah. the words you speak, people see and things happen. Yeah. And things are happening. And people are seeing yes. and it's changing. And seeds are being sown in people's life. Yeah, yeah. Just by you, the way you walk, yeah. the way you do yourself. You know, they see. And you know what? You may never see these results. And you may not, never see this uh the, the reaping of these uh, lives. Right. But the seed was sown through you because mm -hmm. of what you did and what you said. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. See yourself that way. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's coming to pass. Look forward and they says, Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan. Mm -hmm. Now Jesus said it, so can we. Yeah. <laughs> he's given us his yeah. word. He's given us authority. Uh -huh. And you know when he's bugging you, and he, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy, you know. He can't make you do anything, but he'll put thoughts. The battlefield of the mind is always going on. So you know what? Just delete those things. Yes. Just delete it, delete it, and, and renew your mind on a daily basis. Yeah. Feed your spirit the word of God. Yes. Renew your mind with the word of God. And crucify the flesh. Because oh, yeah. the flesh wants to agree oh, yeah. with whatever, <laughs> you know. So be careful. The devil knew he was whipped. But that didn't stop him. Mm -hmm. It never does. He still wants to use the same old tricks. Mm -hmm. He wants to use uh, the same old lies. Yes. Amen. To defeat God's children. Mm -hmm. If you let him. Yeah. Amen. You don't have to let him. Right. Once you know the truth, say, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. um, no way. Get behind me, Satan. Amen. That's where you belong. Get behind me. I'm not accepting that anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm not accepting your lies anymore. Amen. Greater see this in you. Amen. So I'm taking authority over you. Yes. You need to take that authority. He's giving you authority. Yes. Now start using his word. Amen. We need also to remind him that victory is ours. So yes. get behind. Amen. And stay behind. Mm -hmm. Praise God. We're pressing on with Jesus. Sometimes we need to do it on a daily basis. Sometimes we, uh, when we think that he's got an upper hand on us, mm -hmm. just renew your mind with the word. Amen. And know 
that you are a child of God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Know that you can do yeah. all things through Christ. Things. Build yourself up. You know, when you build yourself up, you build your faith up, you know, where you can say, hey, <laughs> I am going somewhere to have it. You know, I am a child of God. I'm taking authority. And I'm going to step out in victory. I'm going to step out as a winner, as a champion for God. Amen. John uh, 16, 33 says, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you might have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Jesus handed us victory when he overcame the cross. So we have the victory. He says you will have tribulation. You'll have problems. You'll have storms. All these things are going to be happening, but still we need to be focused on yeah. him. Amen. Yeah. See, we know he's coming, but we need to be focused on today. We need to be focused now. Let the past go. We need yeah. to press on now and pursue and do what he's called us to do. Amen. Yeah. And let's go out and share his word. You know, cast out devils. Amen. Lay hands on the sick. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. We can do that. He's, he's yeah. called us to do great things for him. And, you know, he's called you, so he's trusting you to do these things. Yes. You know, don't let nobody say, well, he can't use you anymore. Mm. Mm. No. Mm. Listen to this. The devil knows exactly what you have That's right. when you have a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Amen. He also knows everything you're entitled to. He knows very well what the presence and the power of God is capable uh -huh. of doing. That's right. Amen. But if he's not using it, guess what? He's yeah. going to take advantage that's of you. Right. And that's because you let him go. Mm -hmm. And you're just backing down or you're doing nothing. You're just being a basic Christian. Oh, boy. <laughs> or you're being just a, a part-time Christian. <laughs> well, you don't have to take these things. That's right. He's going to take advantage of you. Remember, full-time, yeah, part-time Christians, no match your full-time Democrats. That's right, yeah. And you're just going to sit down mm -hmm. on your corner and say, I'm not do nothing about it. Yeah. Then he's going to walk all over you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. Can't do that. Amen. He's a defeated foe. Yes. You let a defeated foe take it, walk all over you, and you have the authority, and you're not doing anything about it. The greatest victory the devil has over the church and Christians is cheating every man, woman, boy, and girl out of the victory that already has been given to them. That's right. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he'll take advantage of you if you let him. If you let him. Amen. But if you have the word, let yes. the word come out of you. You know, you feed yourself the word of God and let that word come out of you. Yes. And say, uh-uh. You know, don't be a defeated, let me write, read it the way I wrote it here. Don't be a defeated, powerless Christian. The greater one is in you. Yes. Amen. The greatest one, the greater one is in you. Amen. And the great Amen. word of God is in you. Yes. Speak the word. Amen. Amen. Speak the word. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how much or how little you have. If you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, <laughs> you you got the greater one in you. Yeah. Amen. And you can do all things through all him. Things. <laughs> yes. You're a threat to the enemy. Yes. You're a threat to the devil. And he knows it. Yeah. When you're up, he's gone. Yeah. He says, submit Amen. yourself to God. Resist uh -huh. the devil. And he will flee. Uh -huh. He will go. Yeah. Amen. Say, praise God. Give glory to God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Satan wants to steal, kill, and destroy and cheat you out of everything you have. He'll, he'll do that if you let him. If you're just going to sit there and say, well, you know, hey, it's, uh, it, it, it's other people's, other people are going to do it. I mean, but I don't have to do this, you know. If you're just going to be a spectator and not a participator, get up and do what God has called yes. you to do. Amen. Yeah. Be a participator. And get involved in the things of God. Fear is one of the greatest tools the enemy has. Oh, Fear caused David to go to the land of the Philistines. <laughs> they despised him, but they respected him from the moment that he defeated his great warrior, right. Goliath. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> the Philistine uh, king accepted David and his army out of <clears throat> not out of friendship, but knowing what a dangerous enemy David was. And the force that he had to fight with. Amen. Because they knew God was with him. Yeah. David, is, <laughs> David was strong in his God. Amen. Yes, he, was. he was talking Jesus. When, I mean God. When, when they were talking problems. Yeah. When they were talking giants. He was talking about his yeah. mighty giant. 
God. Amen. Yeah. If you want to try to take care of yourself, God will let you. Mm -hmm. Remember the prodigal son. Mm -hmm. Amen. You want to do your own thing. Mm -hmm. God's going to let you. Yeah, yeah. Amen. And you, guess what? You're going to run into the world and the world's going to have you. Mm -hmm. And that's what the prodigal son did. Mm -hmm. He ran into the world and said, wait a minute, I can do better than father's house. Mm -hmm. And he come back to father and said, forgive me, you know, but I could be one of your slaves, you know. Mm -hmm. He says, no, you know what he called you to do. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is dust yourself off, yeah. you know, and get back in the race. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. But don't let nobody tell you you're defeated. Don't That's let nobody right. tell you God is done with you. No. Because he's not. That's right. Amen. He wants you to get back in the race. He wants you yes. to get back in the battle. Yes. Even the devil says the devil knows when you're under the protection of God your, yourself. Mm -hmm. He knows these things. If he knows, we should know. Amen. <laughs> yes. If he knows, we should know. Uh -huh. In Psalms 91, Psalms 23 tells us that he, we are under this protection, under this uh, umbrella of protection. Yes. And the enemy knows, and the enemy knows when you step out of that protection. Uh -huh. And he knows when to attack. Uh -huh. Amen. He knows. So we need, we need to be careful. We, need, we should know this thing. The enemy knows that we should know what God has planned for your life. Mm -hmm. And he will do anything to make sure that yeah. you stay away from this. Amen. Yeah, he wants to pull you away, draw you away, yeah. whatever distraction comes your yeah, way. Yeah. So we need to make sure that we stay under his protection. Yeah. David had known for a long time that one day he was going to be king. He had many victories along the way and the enemy had parted and the enemy had lost every time. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. God was with him. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Many times the devil thought he had David. But David went to Jesus, went to God, and God saw him through every situation. We, when we see ourselves in a situation, we know that we can go to him and he'll see us through. Amen. We start confess his word. Yeah. Confess his word. But God is with us. God is with us. He never leaves us nor forsake us. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen to this. David cries when he's calling after God in question and calling uh, on God and his favor and his abilities. God had delivered him every from every situation, every time he needed him. Right there he started to have victory. Victory is mine, he says. Victory is mine. And we need to know that we have victory. Amen. We have the victory and we need to remind Satan to get behind us. Yeah. We don't have to be defeated. We don't have to put up with it anymore. Thank you, Jesus, that he is with us all the time. A word from God is all you need, will ever need. To be victorious. Amen. Amen. But you need to have a relationship. You need to have to spend time with him. Amen. The victory begins with believing God's word. It doesn't matter what the circumstances look like. Right. It doesn't matter what the odds are. Mm -hmm. When you spend time with him, when you have a relationship with him, you know that you have victory. Yes. Whatever the situation may be, it doesn't matter what's going on out there. Yeah. We know we have victory. Amen. Remember last week we talked about whose report do you believe? Yeah. The report looks bad. The report sounds bad, but we have victory because the great one is in us. Yeah. And we take that word and use the word. Amen. Yeah. And we can confess victory because God has already seen us through. Yeah. Jesus yeah. has already seen us through. Yeah. He went to the cross for us and paid the price. Amen. And we have victory. And we need to remind ourselves on a daily basis. Yes. I'm victorious through him. Yes. Amen. No matter what the situation, no matter what the circumstances, you say it doesn't matter what the circumstances look like. It doesn't matter what the odds look like. Mm -hmm. God's ability is not affected by our circumstances. Amen. Amen. So whatever circumstances, whatever problems, whatever cares, whatever situation you're facing, God is there. Yes. And God will see us through. Yes. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Amen. David overcame and took back 
what the enemy or what the devil had stolen from him. And nothing of theirs was lacking, either small or great, small uh, sons and daughters spoiled, and anything which had been taken from them. David recovered all. Whatever's been taken from you, amen, you claim it all, yes. amen, because he'll have to restore it, it says, seven times fold, amen. God will see that you get it back. Amen. So praise God, I'm standing and I'm recovering all that the enemy has taken from me. Not only recovered all that had been lost, God had given him more that had been taken from him in the first place. Right. Amen. So praise yeah. God. You know, praise you're standing God. and whatever's been taken, mm -hmm. it's got to be restored. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. This is your word, Lord. And we're confessing your word over this situation. Yeah. God is never just a God of barely getting by. Oh, no. <laughs> God is a God he is always a good and plenty, yes. over the top, more than enough, a God of abundance, amen. Yes. So yes. praise God, he's going to bring it all to you. He's going to give it all back to you. Yes. So praise God, and he is faithful, amen. He is faithful, God is faithful. Great is his faithfulness, yes. praise God. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to read you this uh, passage here in mes uh, from the message, the message Bible. It's in Ephesians 7 through 10. Because of the sacrifice of the Messiah, his blood poured out on the altar of the cross, we're a free people, free from penalty, free from punishment, chalked up by all our misdeeds. Not just barely free, either abundant free. He, he thought of everything provided for everything we could possibly need, letting us in all the plans he, he took or delight in making. Yeah. He set it all out before us in Christ, a long-range plan in which everything would be brought, brought together and summed up in him, everything in deepest heaven, everything on this planet Earth. Amen. Praise yeah. God. Everything he gave back. Amen. Go ahead, go to the next one. This is uh, this is another funny I put probably here. This seven days without God makes one week. Without God, a week would be this: a sin day, a morn day, a Tuesday, a waste day, a Thursday, and a Friday, and a Saturday. This is without Him. Wow. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, huh? <laughs> and it says seven days without God will make one. Week. Mm -hmm. Go to the next. Keep going. <laughs> it's the same thing. Just keep going. Here we go. God will bring me through victory because victory is mine. Mm -hmm. Amen. We must remember this all the time. He's going to see me through. He's going to see me through. He is with me. He never leaves me nor forsakes me. He's going to see me through victory and victory yeah. is mine. Yes. Keep going. Here we go. The devil says, they're all mine. Jesus responded, oh, my dead body. Oh, that's true. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Keep going. Fear not, I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You yes. are mine. Yes. He's calling you by name. He called you. And we talk about this all the time. He's approved you. He's equipped you. And he sent you on this mission. Mm -hmm. Amen. He sent you on this mission to fulfill this mission. And if he is with us and he's for us, nothing can stop us yeah. except yeah. ourselves. But the enemy is going to come and bring all these distractions. Yes. He's going to bring people. Might These people might be family, might be friends, might be somebody you know. Yeah. So we got to be careful. Right. Keep going. This is something to take to heart mm. all the time. Yeah. You are a warrior for God. You are his warrior. Yeah. Amen? Not a warrior. Mm. If you're going to pray, don't worry. And if you're going to worry, why pray? Why pray? Oh, yeah. Amen? But you are a warrior. Be his warrior. Amen? Yeah. He can count on you. Yes. Not a warrior. Amen? Praise, Praise God. God. I think we have a couple more. No, that's, that's it? Okay. Well, that was going to leave you with that one anyway. Everything 
do whatever needed for the victory in every situation was provided at the cross. Amen. Yeah. Everything, everything. Yeah. So he didn't forget anything. Just like we used to tell us, they went from A to Z uh -huh. and from Z back to A. Uh -huh. And it's all completed. Don't let anybody tell you, well, there's something new. This Just come out with some new sickness. Come out with some new thing. Uh, this is a new way of teaching. This no. is a new way of God, you know. No. I don't think so. He's never changed. He's here. I'm a God and I'll never change. So we got to teach, continue to learn his word and what the word of God says. Amen. The Bible, you know what the Bible stands for? Uh -huh. I like this acronym. It says yeah. the Bible is basic instruction before leaving the earth. Yes. <laughs> so we need to go back to the basics uh -huh. sometimes. Say, well, you know, it's something new. I don't think so. No. What we need to do all the time is just go back to the basic instruction before leaving the earth. Yeah. Open your Bible and learn the word of God. Amen. Yeah. This is what's going to help you while you're living here. Amen. Amen. This is what the enemy is afraid of. He's afraid of the word, the spoken word of yes. God. Amen. Yes. You can get it in you and never let it out. But when you speak it out, it's going to go out and accomplish what it's meant to do. Amen. 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 But we got to speak it out. We can't just hold it in. Right. Amen. Let it out. It says, out of the innermost being shall flow rivers, rivers. of living water. Amen. Amen. So praise God. That's what you are. You are a victorious one in him. Yes. Woo! Why can we be confident and say, victory is mine. Mm -hmm. The victory is always mine when I put my faith and trust in the Lord's Amen. amazing ability yes. instead of my own. Amen. Amen. When we put our trust in him, we trust him and we can have victory all the time and not just sometimes, yeah. but all the time. Praise God. All the time. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. So victory is mine. Yes. I like that. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Amen. That is our song on a daily basis. Victory yes. is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Amen. I spoke to Satan. I told Satan, uh -huh. get thee behind. Get behind and stay there. Yes. Victory today is mine. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Um, I got... One more thing to read to you, and then we'll be close with me. Yeah. Praise God. Listen to this. Relationship, not religion. A religious tradition have robbed you or been taught. God brings trouble in your life to teach you. Wash away those traditions by having a relationship with your Heavenly Father. Amen. And knowing the truth, the Word of God, Know that he is a true God, and all these blessings belong to you. Receive them. His will for you is to give you health, not sickness, prosperity, not poverty, Amen. happiness, not sorrow. Yes. He is a God that heals. He is a God of mercy. Yes. He is a loving God and his compassion. He is a loving and compassionate God. And he is God, says God is a God of love. Yes. And God is love. Amen. Amen. So praise God. So I want you to leave, I want to leave you with that and know, church, that you have victory in Jesus. And victory is mine. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So it doesn't matter what you hear out there, just know that victory is mine. Praise God. Amen. 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 Praise God.